Reddit, what are some fun things to do on New Year's Eve if you're not a big party goer slash under 21? My son and his friends have always spent New Year's with me. We play board games and beat on pots and pans at midnight. My son turned 18 this year and I expected they would skip it this year but they are all planning on being here and playing board games. Lol now they are bringing their girlfriends. Edit, thank you so much for the well wishes and silver, gold, and platinum. This is my core group of friends. We all used to gather at my parents' place since we were all 15 to 16 years old. Continued through university. It's now been 20 years we've been doing this. Things have changed, it's now wives, husbands and our kids ranging in age from 10 down to newborns. Some new faces have joined, some moved on but the core has kept it going. I recently got a job that takes me out of town every two weeks and this year the schedule falls on me being on shift. My buddy is super bummed I won't be there, keeps, messaging I should have taken the time off. Well, that's what everyone except my wife thinks is happening. About to leave the house and surprise the gang. Can't wait to see all their faces. I've had this plan for over three months. Edit, so far a lot of surprised faces but not everyone has arrived. Edit, everyone is here. Drinks are flowing, kids are playing, food is aplenty, watching WJC, Converses Russ, game. As people trickled in, I came around the corner for each group. Everyone had the same stunned look. The WTF? You're here? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Lots of smiles and laughs. The tradition continues. Happy New Year's everyone. I'm switching from Farming Simulator 2018 to Farming Simulator 2019. Will your crops be transferred to the new game or do you have to start fresh? I could transfer if I want to, but my whole server's starting fresh for the cannabis set. It'll be nice to see if they worked off the existing mods or doing something brand new. The avocado horned melon sets in 2018 were pretty good, but a lot of people felt like it took over the game. I personally went anti-meta with a pumpkin patch so I never noticed, but this year it's all in on artisan cannabis. Y'all are getting weed Twinkies whether you like it or not. I've never played or watched someone play Farming Simulator BC I never thought it would be interesting, but I keep hearing stuff like this and it really makes me curious. Now I wanna play too. Duck. In bed by 10.30. I will be snoozing on the couch around the same time. Happy New Year. I vacuumed the carpets. I swept all the floors. I polished the handles on all of the doors. I washed all the dishes. I sang Auld Lang Syne. I looked at my wristwatch. It said, half past nine. Sprug, you are fine. My brother is coming over with Pizza Hut and his Switch and we're gonna play Smash tonight. Check with your local bowling places and see if they have a New Year's Eve special. A few years ago I went with my family, my teenage son and two of his friends, myself, my early 20s daughter her boyfriend. The price included unlimited bowling, pizza and pop. There was beer available and champagne at midnight for the adults. I had to coax them because they thought it would be lame but by the time we left at 1am, they all were raving about how much fun they had. I love this. What a great idea, thank you. I'm not a teen but me and my so really don't feel like going to a house party and get plastered. Watching movies sounded a little depressing. This will be our plan. Happy New Year. For the last three years I have done the same thing at around 10pm I find a random person on a game on Xbox then I play with them all night then never talk them again. Do you tell them at the start that they are just being used? No they find that out themselves. Damn, a virtual one-night stand. Board game night. Risk was our go-to. Visit an older relative or give them a call to wish them a happy new year, especially if you didn't get to see them for the holidays, it may take just a few miniatures of your time, but it will mean the world to the person you're visiting calling. Just called all my grandparents after reading your comment. Wonderful idea. So did I. It was a good reminder. I have a tradition of writing down all the terrible things from the previous year and setting it on fire. It can be anything you want to leave behind going into the new year. This can easily be done alone or with a few close friends. It just feels nice watching all that negativity turn to ash. Edit, Happy New Year. Can I just cut the middleman and set myself on fire? At 10.30, if you start Infinity War you can watch Gamora drop instead of the ball. 
D. I'm sorry, little one. Teenagers? Have a sleepover with some close friends. Bring in the new year together edit, I get it. None of you have friends. When I get 80 Reddit notifications about bold of you to assume I have friends and what are friends boy it's a little tiring. I love the replies, I'm glad you're enjoying yourselves, and glad you can be lonely together. Be lonely together without me. What if all of your friends are going to parties you weren't invited to plaza respond I have no plans tonight frown edit, thanks for all the responses improv's gonna ask one of my friends if I can tag along and hope I don't get kicked out edit too, going to the party. Shall update afterwards hell yeah that party was so ducking lit I just gave the host $10 for letting me come and it was def worth it. Ask your friend if you can come. No one will actually care or even question if you were invited if it's a gathering over 15 people. I did, the party is being thrown by a girl who's known for kicking people out if they weren't personally invited by her, so that's an L. Get better friends next year. They sound like assholes. Yeah I tried that freshman sophomore and junior year and now I'm in my senior year and haven't gotten better results. Thanks though. Things get better, you'll soon realize high school is shitty and there's better things in life. But I know, right now it's shit. I've been there. All my friends in high school I met on Xbox Live, not gonna lie I met some pretty great people, still keep in touch with a couple. Oh yeah I know high school doesn't matter in terms of all the social bullshit I deal with but still sucks. High school may as well been another life at this point. It basically happened to someone else who I used to be. Stargaze and take a bubble bath. Will your tub be in your garden? I used to have an outdoor shower. It didn't have a ceiling. The night before I got married, I took a shower in the moonlight. I was due to give birth in about a week, so I was heavily pregnant. It was one of the most surreal and cool things I've ever done. If I was an artist, I would paint this. Here you go, i.inger.com edit. I'm so happy I made so many people a bit happier. I wish you all the best. Louvre Museum wants to know her location. As someone that has always been let down by big New Year's Eve events I now either just hang out with some friends and play games and not pay attention to the time. Or I stay home. Have a bunch of appetizers for dinner and go to bed by 10.30. Haven't been let down by low-key night yet. Under or over 21. Doesn't really matter. I had a group of friends that we all would make sandwiches and buy chips and water and drive around our city and hand them out with any spare blankets any of us had to anyone without accommodations. I moved, but plan on restarting that tradition. Really helped to frame priorities going into the new year. Wow, that took an unexpectedly wholesome turn. I thought you were gonna drive around town eating your chips and stuff and try and be in a specific place to celebrate. They were a great group of friends, TBH. Can't even claim it was my idea. I was just happy to partake. You guys is good people. Sleep. Very fun and would recommend. I hear it's therapeutic. I hear it's absolutely necessary at some point. Sir, do you have evidence to back that up? I'm sure it's just a marketing gimmick by the mattress company. Fakes news. Twilight Zone Marathon on Sci-Fi or Netflix. This has been my tradition for almost a decade. I just watch Futurama. It's a New Year's show. Cheers to another lousy millennium. Watch Netflix, eat hot Cheetos, drink wine, and hang out with my dog. If you start watching Avengers Infinity War at 9.48 and 54 seconds p.m. tonight, Thanos will snap at exactly midnight NBSP, edit, I pray to God I got this right or Reddit will have my ducking head.